The pandemic has hit a lot of industries hard, including the construction industry. The Tulsa Home Builders Association tells us because of the increase in the price of materials, a worker shortage and supply chain issues, many home builders have had to raise the cost of homes. Yeah, one of those builders is Broken Arrow's Shaw Homes. Over the past three months, we've had dozens of complaints come into our newsroom about Shaw Homes regarding contracts. The majority of the complaints are about transparency. Those who reached out to me signed a contract for one price, and many months later, when the frame of their home is up, they were told to pay 20, 40, even $100,000 more or not get their home. I had envisioned myself being there, but things have changed. I'm trying to envision a different scenario. Amber Wynn, her husband, and two little girls signed on with Shaw Homes to build their dream home in February last year. They signed a contract for this home for $273,000. Fast forward eight months to September, and as their home is being built, Amber says Shaw reached out to her, saying the house would now cost $40,000 more, but the company would make a deal. They asked us to pay $28,000 more. They mentioned that they could get out of the contract for any reason, but... It does not explicitly state in the contract anything about raising the prices. Amanda McIntyre, her husband, and their two young daughters found themselves in the same situation. They signed on with Shaw in October 2020 for an agreed-upon price of $388,000. Their price increase was $100,000, but Shaw offered to meet them in the middle, and the McIntyres would need to pay $58,000 more. We just wanted to know how they got that number and it was based off what houses are selling for right now, not what their costs went up. The complaints continue. Kristen Holland tells us eight months after her slab was poured, she was asked to pay about $60,000 more. Kara Highfield, a first-time home buyer, says after 10 months, she was asked for $35,000 more. Cassandra Jones wrote in saying after six months, she was asked to come up with $39,000 more. When she offered $20,000 more, she says the company told her no. These families are all under the impression that upfront pricing, as advertised on Shaw's website, meant the price they agreed upon was the price they would pay. It felt like somebody had kicked me in the gut. I mean, I hated to do that. I've never, ever done it. I've built houses, and I've lost money on them. I did not want to change the price of, of contracts, but uh, I really had no choice but to do that. With a hot housing market in 2020, owner Glenn Shaw tells me he was hoping for the best year ever. On average, Shaw Homes builds up to 250 homes a year. In 2020, the company was on track to build 460, but costs of material and labor started going up. We went to 85 or 86 customers, and of those, 41 said, we understand, we expected it, and we'll stick with you. The others, we refunded every dollar that they gave us. In fact, Shaw says he absorbed as much as he could, losing hundreds of thousands of dollars before making the tough decision to increase contracts. But for those caught up in this nightmare, the explanation of pandemic struggles just isn't enough. I understand they're a business and they have to protect themselves, but seeing the breakdown to show the honesty in it because they're stating that they are losing money in these contracts I just would like to see that. I mean, if they can prove that prices were actually that, then that would be something we would consider, but I don't think they went up $100,000. Do you provide any type of itemized list that can show me where that increase is going to be used? You mean, do I, would I show them that my two by four has gone from this price to this price? Correct. No. When I pressed Mr. Shaw on transparency, he went from not wanting to share his cost to blaming it on taking too long. I mean, I can understand somebody wanting to know. I would want to know myself. But it was just not a practical exercise for us to be able to do to do that. Because of timing. Because of timing. I think it's interesting that you said it's something that you would want to know. It is. Absolutely. If I were sitting in their seat, I would be upset with me because I've really made their lives inconvenient at, at least. And, and so I would have a hard time going through what we ask people to go through. Jeff Smith with the Tulsa Home Builders Association. I would certainly hope that they would offer a detailed explanation of where that price is coming from. It's not required in the contract that they um, do give you that information, uh, but it's a good customer service and general rule that they're going to uh, let you know exactly where those funds are going to. Smith did make it very clear the challenges facing Shaw Homes are being felt all across green country. The accounts and concerns that you've received I, I think are all you know valid concerns I think unfortunately they're common concerns in our industry over the last 18 months 
they need to have trust in their contract and they need to do that by explicitly stating that there could be um, an increase in price due to unforeseen reasons. Amanda and Amber tell me they would never go through this process again without hiring a lawyer first. They're both in new homes and just want to put this behind them. Glenn Shaw tells me after a painful few months, he hasn't had to increase prices and hopes he will never have to do it again, although he admits to me he doesn't know what the future holds. And it's important for everyone to know tonight, there's something called a commodity clause in these contracts, meaning if the price of supplies to build your home goes up, that cost could be passed on to you. And if you find yourself having problems with a builder, any builder, you can always file a complaint with the Home Builders Association or the Better Business Bureau. A lot of information for people looking to build a home right now, There's for sure. There's a lot that goes into the whole process, yeah, yeah on both sides.